In this video, we'll be looking at adding, removing, and editing HTML dynamically on a web page. We can look at the uh, source of the HTML here, and it's very easy to edit this. I could add a new tag, I could go inside here and say that I wanted to add an anchor tag. I can have an href pointing to wherever I want, I can add a title attribute, the link text that goes inside of it. That's how you edit it. However, there's going to be times where you're working with pages that you don't have access to the HTML, whether the HTML is being dynamically generated with a content management system, or whether it's just somebody else in your team is building the HTML, and you're not allowed to touch it. So, with JavaScript, we need to be able to build, edit, delete, remove pieces of HTML on the page. We have the methods get element by ID, get elements by tag name, query selector, query selector all, and we can use those methods to find the various pieces on the page. So you can find the elements that you want to remove, or you can find the place where you want to add something. Right now we're going to look at how to actually add them. So let's go into our JavaScript file. We've already got this set up, so we've got our basic window on load function, the init function, we're going to look at all the paragraphs on the page. So using get elements by tag name, p, find all the paragraphs. Then we're going to find out the length of that array. That's going to be placed into the variable numparas. We're going to do a for loop, starting at zero, going up to but not including numparas. So five paragraphs. That means the numbers zero, one, two, three, four. We're going to be adding all of those elements or using all of those elements rather. So document get elements by tag name p and then in my square brackets I'm going to use my variable i to add the on click to each one of those and we're going to call the function that we have down below here add new link. Okay so now all five of my paragraphs have the function add new link added to it this function is going to be called by each one of them and what we're going to do is every time you click on a paragraph we're going to create a brand new anchor tag a brand new link add that to the paragraph we're going to put link and a space plus a number after it that's going to be the text that we use for the link and then we're going to set for all of them we're going to use this URL for the href so first I want to look at that link number, the text that we're going to put inside there, link plus a number. What we're going to do for that is we're going to create a global variable. So up here at the top, outside of all the functions, var num links. And I'm going to set that to zero. So num links, because it's global, can be accessed from any function, including this one here. And it means that the variable value gets shared and reused. Down here, I'm going to say num links equals num links plus one. What that's going to do is every time this add new link function gets called, we're going to be adding one to its value. So the first time it gets called, it's going to be one then 2, then 3, then 4, and so on. So it'll just continue to increase as we use it. And scroll up a little bit here. Alright, num links, that's our number. Create a variable called txt, and inside there I'm going to put link, my space, and then that number, num links. There we go. So that is going to be the text. txt is going to be the text inside of that variable, or inside of that link, rather. Okay, so we've got a new link to be created. How do we create a link? Well, we need to... Let's create a variable called link. That's going to be our link. And we use the method document.createElement. There it is. A, anchor. That is the element we're creating. Now, the text that's going to go inside of that anchor, we will 
will say lnk dot append child. That's going to let us put something inside of the link. And what we want to put inside there is document create text mode txt. Oh. All right, so what this line does is this part right here, document create text node, that is going to create the chunk of text that's going to go inside of the anchor. TXT, that was the, the actual string up here, link, space, and a number. That is going to be the new text node that we create and put inside of the link. A pen child is the method to place something inside of an HTML element. Now, all we need to do is put the link inside of the paragraph that was clicked. So, this, that magic keyword again, append child lnk. And I'm just putting extra spaces around those variables to make them a little bit easier to see. I don't need to add the extra spaces, it just makes it easier to read. So, the link is being placed inside of the keyword this, which is representing whichever one of the paragraphs was clicked. Okay, so we have an anchor tag. It has text inside of it, but it doesn't have an href, it doesn't have a title, it doesn't have any other attributes. So we need to add those. Now, I can add them here at the end. I can add them above where I'm appending it, here. I can add it above this. As long as I'm doing it after I create the initial variable, I can do it anywhere after it. So link.href is going to be equal to HTTP Google.ca. There we go. That is our script. So now if I save that and we jump over to the browser, refresh our page, I click, there it is. This link takes me to Google. I jump back. Click, 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 click. You can see one, two, three, four, five. Those numbers. This is six. Next time I hit one, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That number will continue to increment every time I click on this. There we go. So document create element to create the anchor tag, document create text node to create the text node that goes inside of that, and to create the attributes, it's just a matter of dot href, dot title, whatever the attribute is that we want to create. And that is creating HTML.